Oh, the man from Egypt, the all-powerful Amun Toussaint. I saw his interview earlier in the week, I think it was Monday, but tonight he's been running his mouth about the gas prices making his family rich. And I, I, the gas prices are insane, I will say that. I know, I, I, I want, I, every time I go to the pump, I immediately start crying because I know I'm not gonna eat today. <laughs> Oh, we know that music, Bucci. As the people get up on their feet, United States Marine Corps veteran, Micah Taylor. Absolutely. Not just because he's a veteran, not just because it's, Memo it's Memorial Mayhem, but also because Micah Taylor is a well-respected man inside that ring. Stars and stripes, ladies and gentlemen. And as a Marine, as a Marine, if there's one man who knows a thing or two about mayhem, it is definitely Micah Taylor. The USA Chan already going, brother. I'm telling you, it's not just about barbecue, it's remembering those who fought to give us the chance to come here and watch wrestling tonight. Yes, and for us to have the freedom to call these amazing matches. Patriotic fans here in Marietta, Georgia, Cobb County Civic Center. A lot of wrestling heritage and a lot of patriotic fans. Absolutely. As they finally lock up in the middle of the ring. Look at that. It's a struggle right there as Micah Taylor gets him in. Jeff Morton trying to break him up, going for a clean break right there. We get it. Micah yes. Taylor showing as Toussaint says, he pulled my hair. Every I, I don't, now, I can't see the other angle, but from where we're sitting, I didn't see any hair pulling. Well, I've walked up with Micah Taylor before, and there is a lot of power in that United States Marine Corps veteran. I can just see I can just see the biceps, man. I do not want to lock up with that guy. Seen the man bench press over 525 pounds in Island Beach bodies. It is uh, a lot of power in that Marine, like a Sherman tank. Oh, yes. A, mon, a, a moon to sun better be careful not to take Micah Taylor lightly. He may get his moon kicked to my, my hammy. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Tucson not looking like he's giving a uh, clean break right there. Oh, but he did. Ah! Yeah. Now he's talking to the people. Yeah, he's, the USA chants are getting under his skin. But Micah Taylor is not stunned. He's ready to go. He's ready to lock things up and get things going here tonight. Memorial Mayhem Universal Championship Wrestling Style. Oh, oh. inside knee by Tucson. And now he's got a side headlock. Yep, a big, big powerful headlock. You know, we were talking about Micah Taylor being in great shape. Look at the guns on uh, Amun Tucson oh, oh, oh. taking Micah Taylor right out of the ring. Absolutely. His arms are about the size of pyramids. And he just sent Micah Taylor flying out of that ring. Yeah, lots of power by Tucson. You know, the Marines have a saying, sun's out, guns out. I think we just saw the guns and the power. 
of the all-powerful Amun Toussaint. Absolutely, and he is now getting the crowd more and more agitated as Mike, Micah gets back in the ring. He's regrouping over there, he's regrouping. Nothing wrong with that, it's what you gotta do, you gotta figure out. He may have hurt his I arm, he may have hurt his arm, he's holding that elbow pretty bad. He's just squaring things off. He pie-faced him a little bit, just paintbrush there. We better put some pepper on it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, my <laughs> Oh, he slapped him. Oh, the blatant disrespect. Yeah. The moon to sun. Oh! oh! What about that for the United <laughs> States attention getter? And he takes off his rope, ducks it. Boom, what a tackle by Taylor. Oh. Whoa, another one. And he's coming in like a tank as Whoa. he lifts him up. <laughs> Big powerful scoop slam, baby. <laughs> Well, whatever pain he had in his arm, either it died down or he dug down deep. Oh, he takes him right to the canvas. Wow. Micah was going up to do that symbolic salute that he loves to do. And Tucson going to town right there, stomping him, going to a choke. Referee Jeff Morton trying to tell him, you got a five count, Tucson. Listen to him taunting the people. Tucson's pretending he can't hear them, but it's hard not to hear this ruckus crowd He's here got, at the Cobb County Civic Center. And he grabs a front face lock right there on that second rope, which is very unforgiving, very unforgiving. And here he comes, oh! Landing right there in the small of the back in the upper thoracic spine of Micah Taylor. It's definitely not the wind out of him. Oh, he takes a knee to the back. Puts on a choke, a chin lock. Yeah, he's got the chin lock, but it, it, you're right, it is a variation of a choke. A little uh, pressure on that vagus nerve, cutting the air off. Ooh, and he brings a knee right between the shoulder blades of Micah Taylor. Jeff Morton trying to make sure Micah Taylor is still in it, and he is. Yeah, making sure Amon keeps his hands around the chin and does not touch the throat. Making sure it's legal. As Micah slowly gets to his feet, Tries to, tries to knock him off. Smashing uh, elbows right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going for it. He calls this the, the rising sun in the east. Oh, no. He's just going to put pressure right there. Got a variation of the backbreaker. Driving that elbow into the xiphoid process. Wow. He has really got a lot of pressure on Micah Taylor's neck. Oh, oh. and takes him down to the canvas right Goes there. Going for the cover. Whoa. That almost looked like a three right there. That was a variation of the Niranagi right there as he took him down and he goes back to pressure on the throat and the breathing of United States Marine Corps veteran Micah Taylor. Micah now struggling to find air, trying, trying not to pass out, trying Man. to beat off the energy yep. of this patriotic red, white, and blue crowd as he makes his way to the feet, to his feet. Showing why uh, the we go. never give Oh, up. yeah, did you hear that one? Oh. I think they heard it in the other county over. He's going for that package. Oh, oh. backdrop. Going for the package pile driver. The head count that we've seen before as Tucson backdrops him and keeps putting pressure on his back. Mon Tucson is now in control here as Micah Taylor's on Dream Street. He, he is just taunting the crowd and just setting his sights on Micah Taylor. Keeping that pressure between the shoulder blades. He's controlling both arms at the same time. Uh-oh, Taylor's trying to fight back. He's trying to fight, oh, gives a boot right there. Big shot with a right hand. Oh, double thrust and a kick by Tucson as he takes him back down to the mat. Right. Oh, oh, what a clothesline! Oh my god, he took his Whoa. head off! Oh. What a body slam! Here we go, Micah Taylor's going up top! He's going up top! Micah Taylor Here's a salute! Oh, Drops an elbow! Up. One! Oh, but Tucson kicks out! He had me there! Tucson has oh. came to fight on this Memorial Mayhem Universal Championship Wrestling! Wow. And according to the ref, it was very close. Very, Micah Taylor now wondering what's he got to do to put away this Egyptian warrior. I, I, I'm telling you, Tucson is powerful. Oh, 
Oh, what a powerful punch. And he looks at the crowd again. Ah, what an upset this would be if a Moon Tucson got a victory on Micah Taylor tonight. Yeah, especially on Memorial Mayhem. Uh-oh, he's got him hooked. He's got a waist lock on there. Oh, and he fires a shot. I thought we were gonna see a German. Oh, here he goes. He's trying to set him up. He's gonna set him up, trying to go for the he's head count. Him. He's got it. The oh! pocket pile driver. The head Back count. Pile driver, he does it. Taylor winning this amazing match on Memorial Mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how a Marine fights and never quits. It's gonna be a long flight home for a moon to sun. Everybody cheer for Scotty! Scotty Beach. Clearly not happy to see Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Buff Bagwell, two big time legends in professional you wrestling. You showed me respect. I know something about great guys like you. I loved watching you when I was a kid. Y'all are the reason why I got into this. I know one thing about legends too. I was trained by one, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. But one thing I know also is you legends like to hide the spotlight from us. Superstars like me today. Buff, you lost your stuff, and you're just all out of steam, baby. So why don't y'all hit the dusty trail and let me do my thing? Arrogant statement by Scotty Beach, but don't let the age fool you. These two are tough. I wish someone would choke him with that whistle. You know, you're bragging about the fact that you're trained by Dusty Rhodes. And we, we, we know who Dusty Rhodes. I was hired by Dusty Rhodes 29 years ago. And nobody, nobody knows your name. Once again, it's Scotty Beach. <laughs> Obviously, he was uh, hard of hearing on that one. You ought to be embarrassed to use his name and step in the ring with us. Let me tell you that. You ought to be embarrassed to use his name like that. If there was one thing that Dusty Rhodes demanded, and that was respect, right? Respect. And I know what you're doing right now. You probably got one of your, your low lives sitting out there with the video phone going on so that you can take that, get it on your Facebook or Faceplate or whatever you want to call it, and tell the world that you were in the ring with Buff and Ricky Steamboat. Well, you know something? We're gonna give you the ring, but you're gonna be by yourself. How about that? Steamboat. Obviously, they want nothing to do with Scotty Beach and his antics. Done. Bit off more than he can chew. He's gonna wish he was back in the sand. Vaya con Dios. Yeah, do not let the age fool you. The dragon still got it. And he's proven it to everyone here at the Cobb Civic Center. Steve, 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 WWE. Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat here at Universal Championship Wrestling. Memorial Mayhem in the ring with Buff the Stuff Bagwell, the UCW American Champion. 